Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one. I get to share with you some of my Amazon must-haves, but I'm gonna switch it a little bit, change it up a little bit, and this is going to be the mom edition. So stick around. Before we get too far into the video, I do want you guys to know this is actually a collaboration with Devine from Calm in the Chaos and from Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. And so there's going to be a playlist. It's, there's going to be all kinds of stuff in there of Amazon homeschool favorites. Um, I decided to put a little bit of a twist on it and do like a homeschool mom edition. Um, so there's a little bit of a variety of things here. I honestly could probably come up with like, yeah, I don't even know, a lot more things. Um, but they're not all necessarily from Amazon and, and all that stuff. So I tried to stick with am things you can get on Amazon and that are sort of mom specific. So first thing is these are by Pilot and they are the friction highlighters. So these are cool because they're erasable. And that is fantastic. Um, and I just find them really useful. Um, especially when because I reverse plan. Um, for the most part, I, I try at the beginning of the year or, you know, a couple of months in advance, I try and just kind of go through and sort of lay out a plan but it's very light it's very like nothing's set in stone right other than you know if there's something specific that we have to attend a, a you know birthday party a vacation something like that so these come in handy for all kinds of things and i just really love them so the friction oh friction erasable highlighters Fantastic. Oh, and I did forget to mention, I will have um, everything linked in the description for you. So if there's something specific, you should be able just to click there and find it. Okay, following along that same kind of trend. Um, if you guys have followed my channel at all, you know that we do gather around and you know that I um, do the digital version of the units because that is what makes sense to us. So obviously I, I don't have my printer like down <laughs> to show you, but y'all, I love the Epson EcoTank. The specific model that I have is the 2760. Fantastic, love it. It has already paid for itself as far as I'm concerned. It just, we came from an HP printer and sure the the quality of the pictures in the HP may have been a little bit better to be honest I don't remember exactly because it's been a couple of years since we've used that one but to me that is not my main priority um quite honestly it's cost and I could print like half of a student or half of a teacher's guide from gather round and I would need a new ink cartridge and then I would print the other half and then I would need a new ink cartridge for half of the suit. It was insanely expensive to print on that HP printer. And that could just be the HP printer that we got. It's one that we had had for several years. It was, you know, a cheaper version, all that stuff. The uh, Insta Ink, I hear good things about the Insta Ink, um, which is like the, the subscription type deal where they send you a new thing. But for us, it just didn't seem very cost effective. I didn't want to have to worry about uh, something coming in the mail and not having it when I needed it and all the things. So we bought the Epson EcoTank. It's fantastic. I love it. Okay, moving on. That was a lot about the Epson EcoTank <laughs> and apparently HP printers. To go along with that also is the ProClick. You guys have probably seen this one a lot too. I love this thing. This is what I use for binding. Yes, there it's an investment up front for both the ProClick and the EcoTank, but I'm at the beginning of my homeschool journey and they it just made sense. Like I said, they they really both have already paid for themselves. With the ProClick, the nice thing is is the binding 
um, that I use. So I actually use um, like the Pro Click binding and they're reusable. So I haven't had to buy any more spines. I just, you know, unsnap them, keep the pages that we want to keep and then put the binding back in the box. And then when I go and I print my new one, I just grab the same binding. I've probably rotated through the same, I don't know, 10 to 15 spines uh, over and over again. And we bought a box of like 50 or something because we didn't really know. So those two things, absolutely. I love them. The ProClick binding system and the Epson EcoTank. Specifically, the model that I have is the 2760. It's been fantastic for me. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna slowly move directions here. Uh, two books I that found this on the web. Theory is doing research for me. Anyway, uh, I found or I felt that these two books um, were probably uh, there's a lot of homeschool mom books. And there's a lot of mom books and, and all kinds of stuff. But I felt these two stood out to me the most. And I feel that these two could be used no matter what season of homeschool slash mom you're in. Um, you guys, I am quite sure, have seen this one, Homeschool Bravely by Jamie Erickson. This is just such a good one. Um lots and lots of really good nuggets of information. This is a chapter book, um, but it is an easy, um, an easy read. She's got like these little, you know, excerpts that she took out, like little snippets of information. Um, just, it's just a really great resource. So I really love this one. Probably, I would say most of you have probably read this, but if you have not read this, add this to your list, ask for it for Christmas, um, a birthday, something, because it's a really, really good one. And then the other one, uh, you guys have probably seen this one. I have read a little bit from this book. I have talked about it recently because it's, if there is, if okay, if you are looking to buy a gift for, someone you know who is a Christian mother, whether it's a sister, a cousin, a friend, an aunt, a mom, uh, not a mom. Well, like you could be your mom. Um, anybody, anybody who is a Christian, who is a mother, you need to buy them this book. As you see, like I have things all over. It is just so good. There is a wealth of knowledge and and thought provoking points and it always points back to the gospel and I just cannot rave about this book enough. So this is M for Mama by Abby Halberstadt. I always get that wrong. Abby Halberstadt. It is so good. The reason I like this one too, especially for um, moms who have like multiple ages or um, or who are just in a season that's busy. They don't have a lot of time to dedicate to sitting down and reading like this one. This is going to take you a little bit more time. You know, if you want to read a chapter a day or something like that, it's going to take you a little more time. These are broken down into bits that are, I would say it took me maybe, depending on obviously how fast you read, but took me, I'd say between 15 to 20, maybe 25 minutes. So super quick and easy. You can squeeze that in while you drink your morning coffee, while somebody um, is taking a nap and the other one is reading a book or, you know, you can find somewhere to squeeze in, you know, 15 to 20 minutes of reading. So it's very simple. Um, and she's drawn all those cute little things like that so cute and then at the end well let me get there it's hard to do at the end it gives you this what the narrative the narrative right so like the overall theme of that chapter what mediocre motherhood um says or has to say about those things so that's kind of like a worldly view and then what christ-like motherhood would say about those same things she gives you some action steps uh, to prioritize, um, you know, whatever that topic is or to get you thinking about it or, you know, action steps. 
some questions to ask yourself, uh, and then she does give you a small prayer at the end. So it's, it's a whole bunch of things all wrapped up in one, and it's just so good. And if there is anything that you buy yourself or anyone you know, again, that's a Christian mother, this is the book. I love this one. Okay, moving on. We, now we're getting into mama things. And there's only, there's two more. So I have two more things. Again, I just tried to, tried to have a variety here, but also keep it relevant. Um, okay, we'll do this one next. This was actually gifted to me by a family member who's also like one of my best friends. We are kindred spirits. I love her dearly. And so she gifted this to me and it is the most you well I don't want to say the most used thing in my kitchen because there's a lot of other things that I use a lot more but this is a cookbook that I use several times a week it is by far my most used cookbook it's so simple it's so easy the ingredients are are very straightforward I just I find so much value in this. So this is another one. If you have um, anyone that cooks, so this could even be, uh, you know, someone that is single or newly married or has children, doesn't have children, really kind of, you know, any stage of life, this is, would make for a really great gift because it's so simple and it's so easy. The instructions are very clear. I just love it. And that is Hope's Table by Hope Helmuth, um, and it's everyday recipes from a Mennonite kitchen. Y'all, I again, I just use this so much. Um, she gives you very like chili, very simple, very straightforward. Everything is delicious. It's good. Um, so those are soups. Let's get back here. That's like salads. Here's. Um, one, one recipe for macaroni, um, she actually gives you like two recipes, two different types of macaroni, but like, that's it. Okay. It's super simple and easy. Here are two different types of green beans you can do. By the way, the oven roasted green beans, that's I, anytime I cook green beans, that's now how I cook them. Like most of the recipes in here have now become staples in our home um, because they're just, it's just simple, it's easy, straightforward. Um, two different ways to cook um, broccoli, uh, steak and cheese subs. Y'all, I could go on and on about this thing. I seriously, I love it so much. Cajun chicken with avocado. So it takes things that you likely already have or things that you likely already cook and just kind of gives you a different way um, maybe to prepare them or serve them. And it changes things up. It gives you, just gives you something else, but it's not like, you know, this wild list of ingredients that you have to go to specialty food stores to find and, and it's 15 different steps and it's very, very easy. I love it. Again, it has become a staple, my favorite get it for sure last one this one's probably gonna kind of throw you guys off a little bit what is happening you know sometimes we we just go with it okay this one may throw you guys off a little bit but i know and if you have followed me on instagram a little bit you probably remember like maybe like a month or so ago i was looking for jeans anybody else have a hard time finding jeans Ding, 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 we have a winner. I don't think they make a pair of jeans that is made for every body, right? So I have found a pair of jeans and I'm gonna share them with you. This is the great thing because I got these on Amazon, but I did, I don't know if you guys have tried the Amazon, um, what is it, the Amazon wardrobe try-on or whatever. If you haven't tried it and there is something that you are looking for or whatever, do it. It was so easy. It really was so great because I was able to order order several different pair of jeans in different styles and cuts and things. And I was able to actually try them on my body before I bought them and decide 
this is going to work. This isn't going to work, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so then I just sent them back and they only charged me for the one pair of jeans I have here because those were the ones that I decided I wanted to keep. So that's another little helpful, helpful tip. Another favorite, I guess, with Amazon is the, the wardrobe try on. Um, but these jeans, these, they are like, they just, they're, you know, sometimes you just put on a pair of jeans and you're like, man, they just feel good when you put them on. That was these for me. So I'm telling you this so that maybe it would give you an option to try um, because they just, they fit good. There's a, there's some stretch to them. Um, so they, you know, they fit comfortably. You don't feel like they're just stiff and you can't move in them, but they're a solid jean. They also aren't like thin and flimsy. They just, they're just a good jean. And I have another pair of similar, same brand. Um, and I literally wore them for years and then they just didn't work anymore. You know what I'm saying? So we went back to good old Levi's, you guys. These pants. So specifically, what are these? These are the 725 High Rise Boot Cut is what I got specifically because they fit good. I loved them. They, again, they do have like, let's see. See, got, got a little stretch in there so they're comfortable to wear. You know, you can actually sit down and stand up and they fit and, and all the things. Um, but they're, like I said, they're like a solid, a solid jean. Um, the cut is going to depend on what you want, what you like. I prefer a boot cut jean. I have a couple skinny jeans. That's fine, whatever. But I prefer boot cut because generally that's what I'm wearing are boots, especially come like fall, winter time. I'm in a pair of boots. And so I like boot cut. That just is what it is. As far as the high rise, that's just, that was what I got and that was comfortable and it fit good and it felt good and all the things. So that's what I got. So if you're looking for a pair of jeans, try out Levi, try the Amazon tr like wardrobe seven day trial thing. It It's really very easy. They send the things to you. You try them on, you go into your account and you can select like, yes, I want to keep this. No, I don't all that stuff. And then you just send it back and then that's it. And they don't charge you for any of the things. So fantastic. I think that's it for this video. I Hopefully I gave you guys a, a good little variety here, some things to try, some things I love, all of that stuff. Don't forget to check out the playlist below of all of the other moms, kind of figure out what their favorites are. You know, again, if you're looking for gift ideas, this is the time of year that we're, we're trying to come up with things to buy people for uh, the holidays. So it's a good place to start. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.